Hey everybody, what's up? I'm um, coming to you from DC. Uh, I just wanted to share a little bit of with you guys about my story because I think it's an important part of who I am and how I came to be in the positions that I am today. Um, one of the things that is important for me is, in my story, is the fact that I grew up for the first eight years of my life in Alexandria, Virginia, and spent quite a bit of time here in DC as a child, a lot of time with my sister, um, visiting museums, going around DC, but a lot of people don't know that I um, grew up for the first eight years of my life here and it shifted a lot of the ways that I think about things today. And so my parents um, moved here to DC shortly after I was born because of job opportunities. And um, we lived in Alexandria, Virginia. And it was a different experience, of course, growing up than growing up on the reservation. I remember a lot of uh, families that my parents would interact with that were native, um, probably from different government organizations, but uh, never really grew up around a lot of natives on a consistent basis. A lot of my friends were African American, mixed races, white, and my best friends was from Iceland. So when I went back to New Mexico in 1983, 84, um, it was a culture shock for me because I had never really been around a whole lot of natives. I went back in the summers and visited family for a few weeks here and there. But for the most part, I didn't grow up around natives upon the reservation and it was rough. Um, upon getting to New Mexico, I experienced a lot of culture shock because I wasn't used to that life. Um, I didn't know how to hunt, I didn't know how to fish, I didn't know how to do any of the things that most res kids know how to do and are accustomed to. So it was an acclimation for me, and of course I was bullied. I got picked on because of the way I dressed, the way I walked, the way I talked, the things I was into. Um, so it was a difficult time, and um, but it also, for me, I think gave me a different lens to look through that inclusiveness, that diversity, and to be aware of things around me and the things and the other different kinds of people. But I do come back to DC quite often, and uh, every time I come back, it brings a flood of memories for me of growing up, being with my sister, uh, with my brother, and my parents, and doing different things around the DC area. And definitely is a place in my heart, and I hold it dear. Um, but I'm glad that my parents moved me back to New Mexico to, um, to live, and that's where I would never leave, and I think, um, from a cultural standpoint, that's my home. And so even though this place holds a dear place in my heart, New Mexico is where it's at.